Baker couldn't reach that. Haskinen holds the zone. There's Harley, who's been a big asset for Dallas this year. A backhand off the post, and Toby will get it behind the net out of harm's way. Back to Marner. Got room to come out in front and prove the angle, but the pass broke it up. See that Fox collapsed back to the front, just trying to protect that cross seam pass. Needlander, wide scores! William Needlander with a blast! Power play goal, Toronto! Well, Chris, maybe there's some of that hesitation that DeBoer was talking about from his penalty killers. The Leafs did a good job of getting control, but there's no pressure at all. There's no stick in the passing lane, so this is a free pass across. And then hey, Hockenpah ends up actually being a very, very passive Dallas Stars penalty kill. Sixth time this season, the William Nylander has opened the score. There's a turnover and a big stop by Samsonov with hits in front. Ben back on it. He's going to at the line. It shot, and Samsonov was moving the other way and just reacted in the nick of time. They only played six games in the NHL last year, 34 in the NHL the year before. So the learning in the American Hockey League has paid off last year. Bertuzzi, a high sticking penalty and a power play goal right off the hop for J.B. Ben. Well, here's where personnel really does make a difference. This is David Camp's faceoff pretty much all day for Sheldon Keith. Instead, you've got Nylander because it's on the right side. And so, good job by Dallas getting Jamie Benn on his strong side. He snaps it back, and you can't have a quicker executed, well-run power play than that one. Two passes, and it's in the back of the net. You can see Samsonov almost got a piece of uh, there was a pretty close call at the line, too. It would have been interesting had it gone in. Thought it might have been an offside, but a moot point now. Here comes the Dodd-Off charging back into the middle. Shoot! Scores! And getting to Dodd-Off. And Dallas has the lead. Well, you talk about getting a second chance as he was unable to corral that one earlier. But a turnover at the offensive line. You know, creates this opportunity just to the outside. A little hesitation there by McCabe. That's a split-second decision. Can you close physically instead? He goes flying by. See, pretty comfortable playing on the road. Here's Johnson back in. What a Johnson! And Samson on able to flick that off. Robertson across. Another push by the Stars, and Samson off will hold on to the tenth shot by Dallas. So one for one, four for their last six, and looking for a equalizer here. And Tavares gets it started with a face-off win. Nylander back to Tavares. Scores! Just like that. Five seconds in. And the Leafs have a pair of power play goals and a tie. Well, how about for John Tavares? Went through his career, no points in nine games, no goals in ten. The importance of a face-off. Tavares just gets lost. Another very passive penalty kill by the Dallas Stars. And you know what? That's a place that Tavares is so comfortable with. You look at the goal that he's... Across it comes to Duchesne. That broken up by Matthews. And here's Matthews working back. Got it to Martyr. Here's Martyr looking for a short-handed goal. And Wedgwood stops that. So the Leafs have had two scoring chances short-handed in the game. Duchesne comes back. Martyr picks that off. He'll go to the attack again. Matthews catching up. It's Matthews in and stopped by Wedgwood. There's Martyr crashing in and turning it over. Centering it to Matthews. Stopped by Wedgwood on the doorsteps. So back to Morgan Riley. His shot deflected. And Matthews will whack at the rebound. Knock and paw for Dallas. And Matthews takes it away, goes to the net, in front scores! play retrieving the puck that is the difference maker and this is what he does better than most in the NHL doesn't take a penalty but the quick active stick on Hock and Paw turns the puck over there's trying to slide it over to Nylander but it's that play there it just that timing of your stick to make sure you don't take a penalty to a sprawling defender sometimes you got to get a bit of a break you know just 
always seems to be around it and just never seems to get rattled or get into any kind of a point. Here's a chance for Bertuzzi! Can't get it by Wedgworth left in front of the net as the Leafs come close to adding to the lead. And the opposite end of that scale. I mean, how frustrated Bertuzzi has had so many chances like that. in like, back in the other way! Sends it off down and a stop on second! He'll send it off the inboards. Sagan left it for Duchesne. Markman fires it across. Here's the shot. Sagan stopped it. Sends it off. Turned the wrong way. And Domi with 13 points in 19 playoff games for Dallas. Here's Bertuzzi. Out of the reach of Nealand. Rooney thought to Bertuzzi. Trying to make sure they can pressure and get back into this game. And a set play, a breakaway off a faceoff win, and it'll draw a penalty, and it'll draw a penalty shot. They're going to call a penalty shot on the commercial break, and everybody's not really paying much attention. You have a defensive zone faceoff, and on a break, beaten as Countryman Woods. So let's see if he can do it again to tie it, and he does. They're getting to Donoff, second of the night, and now 12 on the year. Here's to Donoff afterwards. The end result is this, just patiently. Matthews and Nyes come back on. Marner trying to get a available in front. Matthews, that wraparound drive. Marner gets on it. Back to Matthews, up top. Looks for Marner off his feet to the net. Scores! in play but watch this perception of the pass by Marner he gets knocked down and gets into the skates he buffers it and then just quick moves he gets the goaltender to go down watch him skate to skate now he's got control and in that tight all you're doing is make sure you get it into the top third and Wedgwood down low Marner with the quick little release rolls in back to back games and goals in both against Dallas here's Tavares got d to loose Tavares spins, Nylander scores! to the line but not out. Haskin in the marchman. Merrill Haskin and watch by Bertuzzi. Here's a shot score! Wyatt Johnson has Dallas within one. That's exactly why those misses just are so important. Obviously the two goal lead the difference. Puck unable to get cleared and good traffic in front. You've got steel the Donoff. Now it's just the Donoff and through the body of Brody. He's not able to get that shooting lane. Where does it go? It goes right by his glove. And then Samsonov didn't read it. Look at the eyes of Samsonov. He didn't read that till late. What a great pickup by Benoit. He was the only one that saw the puck. He got to it before it came to the front of the net. Lebelski's stick and the Leafs are going to hold on to win it. 